Finally, to continue from last time, uh, to give a transformation between theta naught and x, this is the definition of theta naught. So that this can be used to go back and forth between the two variables that appear in the various integrals. Now, this has all been for thin airfoil theory, but unfortunately, not all airfoils are thin. So how do we deal with arbitrary thickness airfoils? The answer is we use the vortex panel method. So this is now going back to uh, the vortex sheet model where the vortex sheets are actually located on the surface of the airfoil rather than along the camera line. Now that was a method that we said had no analytical solution, which means it needs to be solved numerically. So when that approach is discretized to allow for a numerical solution, what we end up with is the vortex panel method. Basically, this is a numerical approach that lets us solve for the incompressible, inviscid flow over arbitrary lifting bodies. Basically, you place the vortex sheets on the surface, and it allows you to get accurate solutions even for thick airfoils, say over 12% thickness, where thin airfoil theory really starts to break down. The downside, once again, there's no analytical solution. So what we do is place vortex panels along the airfoil surface each has a constant strength gamma j Now we define a control point to basically be the center of each panel. And then we en enforce the wall boundary condition v dot n equals zero at the control points. So this is going to give us something that looks like th this. Here's our airfoil. We have a set of linear panels. Let's model the surface of the airflow and use it all the way around. And so if this panel is say our JF panel or pane and the control point is the midpoint uh, between the ends of that panel. This will set up a system, uh, posing the problem in this way, will set up a system of linear algebraic equations for the unknowns gamma j subject to the cutter condition constraint. And where we use the panel method software XFOIL. in this course, and you won't need to sort of understand the nuts and bolts under the surface to uh, be able to use this program, but I think it's useful to spend a little bit more time going through this uh, and ex exactly what these, this software does so that we can understand um, what some of the limitations are uh, and why the, the setup steps that are required are indeed necessary when using this sort of software. So in the next part of this lecture, 
I'm going to present some new material that isn't review, uh, going into more detail on how 2D panel methods work.